Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today, courtesy of Legacy Collectibles, we have a pair of Luftwaffe issue Walther pistols to take a look at. Uh, this is of course a Walther PP and a Walther PPK, both of which were definitely issued to and used by the Luftwaffe. Now, the Luftwaffe used a lot of different pistols. In addition to the two sizes of Walthers, they also used some of the big army issue guns, uh, P-38s, Lugers, they also used a variety of smaller pistols, both of German and foreign manufacturers. So they used Mauser HSCs, they used FN 1922s, they used Czech CZ 38s, they used, uh, what else am I leaving out here, uh, Hungarian Fimaru M37 pistols, kind of anything that they could get their hands on, because the Air Force, like the SS, like the Navy, like a lot of other organizations, were kind of second tier in terms of uh, arms procurement. They had to take what they could get. Now, when it comes to who got what pistols, it's also important to consider that there were a lot of different roles in the Luftwaffe. So on the one hand you have fighter pilots, the kind of thing that everyone you know, usually immediately thinks about, but then you've also got bomber pilots, bomber crewmen, you've got uh, ground crewmen who may very well be issued, many of them were issued sidearms because they potentially need to be armed. And then when you get towards the end of the war you have divisions that are basically formed out of spare Luftwaffe ground personnel and pressed into infantry service. So as a general rule the higher your rank the smaller the pistol you got. So when we're talking about Walthers, PPs and PPKs, these are really the smallest of the guns of the Luftwaffe and they were the ones that were most likely to go to high-ranking officers, and that would include, for example, fighter pilots, most of whom were officers. Maybe bomber pilots, maybe probably not so much bomber crewmen. A lot of the, the more impressive pistols, things like Krieghoff Lugers, were a lot more likely to go to someone like a ground crewman, because you don't want to be trying to carry a large gun like a Luger in a large bulky clamshell holster while you're stuffed into the little tiny cockpit of a BF-109 or something. Much more convenient to carry something like this, and this is a last ditch sort of survival weapon anyway in case you get shot down and you have to bail out. So that said, a lot of people are curious, how do I know if a particular pistol was issued to the Luftwaffe? And the answer is it's really hard to tell as a general rule. The only Luftwaffe pistols that were actually specifically marked for the Luftwaffe were those Krieghoff Lugers, which we'll talk about in a separate video another day. When it comes to one like this, there are a couple things that can give you a clue. So let's take a look at these up close. The way Walther did its markings, it didn't have anything special that it added for a pistol that ended up going to the Luftwaffe. However, those Luftwaffe guns came from special unique contracts, and those special contracts were serialized in a slightly different way than regular production pistols. And the best telltale is the fact that the magazines are all going to be serial numbered. If we look at the bottom of the guns here you'll see that both pistols have their serial numbers on the floor plate of the magazine. Now every uh, Luftwaffe issue pistol will have magazines numbered in this way, however there are other pistols that are also numbered this way. That's sort of the trick with Walther's special contract numbering. Now if we still had Walther's wartime records for this sort of thing this would be easy to look up. Just check to see if your pistol was in one of the batches that was made for the Luftwaffe. However, that data is, has all been destroyed, and so what we have instead is just a couple of specific serial number blocks that collectors and researchers have been able to piece together as going to the Luftwaffe, based on records that were captured at uh, German air bases, and that sort of thing. So there are three specific groups that are identified as Luftwaffe guns. The first one is actually from 1940, it's a group of about 1800 pistols that were actually made in 380 or 9mm Kurtz. Um, these are rather rare among Walthers, and in this case guns between 198,000 P and 202,000 P that have their serial numbers marked on the bottom of the magazines like this uh, are Luftwaffe guns. Now not all of that range, about half of them, about 1800 pistols within that serial number range were part of a Luftwaffe contract. The second one that we know of is for 32 caliber guns, and it is for Walther PPs between the serial number ranges of 216,000 P and 229,000 P. That includes this particular example, and this batch was also serialized on the slide as well as the frame down there, 
and of course, magazine. So not every pistol in that range went to the Luftwaffe, but all the ones that have serialized slides and magazines did. And the third batch uh, actually is PPKs, and it includes this particular example. This is uh, from late 1941, early 1942, guns between 297,000 K and 304,000 K. About 6,000 guns in total uh, went, again, to the Luftwaffe. So this one is not marked on the slide, it is serialized on the frame, and on the matching magazine. You'll find a couple other proof marks on these pistols that aren't unique to the Luftwaffe, uh, but were typical to pistols that were made under special contract like this. On the barrel and the slide you'll have an eagle over N, that's a commercial proof mark. And then on the left side of the slide and the frame you'll have a Waffenamp. This is a WAA359 uh, Waffenamp, which is Walther. So you'll find those both on the PP and also on the PPK here. And our PPK also has those Eagle N commercial proofs. Now while pistols were not specifically marked for the Luftwaffe, holsters actually were. The Luftwaffe preferred this style of holster, commonly called a dropping holster. Uh, there were, you know, there were a bunch of different styles of holsters that were used by various elements of the, the German state and military, but these, especially in brown, are distinctively, you know, representative of the Luftwaffe. Just because it's this style doesn't mean it's Luftwaffe, but if it is Luftwaffe it almost has to be this style. And if we look inside we'll see some distinctive markings. So this holster is very thoughtfully stamped with the model of pistol that it's made for, a Walther Model PP, caliber 7.65 or 9mm. We have a production code here from the holster maker, uh, and a date stamp, and then we have this very specific Luftwaffe uh, eagle stamp. So that drooped wing eagle is unique to the Luftwaffe. So we know that this was a Luftwaffe holster. And if you trust that a pistol came, was originally brought home from World War II in or with that holster, you can be pretty certain that it was a Luftwaffe issued pistol. You saw that we have two holsters there. This one, the stamp's not quite as legible, but this is for a Walther PPK. Again, we have the Luftwaffe Eagle, and part of the reason we know how wide of a selection of pistols the Luftwaffe used was because holsters have been uh, recorded, have been documented, uh, made for a whole bunch of the different pistols that I described at the beginning of the video. So that's probably the best way to actually know for sure that a given gun was actually a Luftwaffe issued one, because the pistol wasn't marked, but the holster was. So if they came together, that is your tip-off that the rig was originally used by the Luftwaffe. Uh, these holsters, by the way, hold a spare magazine. The PP and PPK holsters, interestingly, have the exact same size magazine pouch, but of course a PPK magazine is a little bit shorter than a Walther PP magazine. So hopefully that answers some questions about Luftwaffe pistols, and Luftwaffe Walther pistols in particular. I'd like to give a really big thanks to Legacy Collectibles for loaning me these two pistols to show to you guys. If you haven't seen their YouTube channel definitely check it out, I'll have a link in the description text below. They have a bunch of videos about cool interesting guns and firearms collecting in general. So thanks to them, and thanks to you for watching.